All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning into Amazing Ebner. I am Tom. And the November numbers are in. And if you watched my previous video regarding my October numbers, uh, I struggled quite a bit. Um, I'll be looking this way quite a bit because I have a second monitor with uh, all of my numbers up on here. So a quick recap, I had now completed four full months of selling on eBay. Uh, I started this channel uh, pretty early on because I wanted to just document how I did, what I learned, etc. Try to help anybody that I possibly can, uh, even if it's one person here and there, as they always say, it's worth it. So that's what we're trying to do, and I've received so much help. I've mentioned again in past videos from watching YouTube videos and other resellers that I felt it was the right thing to do to give back any little bit that I could with the 10 or 15 people that watch my videos. So kind of going back to where it all started, I did sell a little bit in late July. I, I don't really count those. Um, there's a reason for it. I've never really gotten into that. At some point, maybe we will. But I kind of take the official start of my selling on eBay as August 1st. And also, I, I did start selling like a year prior to that. Sold a couple items. I've actually mentioned that in a previous video. But anyway, so just starting fresh here with August uh, 1st, 2020, uh, and, and that month of August, I sold, uh, and we'll just round the numbers here, we did uh, $704 in, in gross sales. I followed that up with a September of $670 in gross sales. And then, as I've said before, October happened, and uh, you know the, the main reasons for that are all uh, notated in my... October sales disaster video, we uh, had $370 in gross sales. But with that poor number, if you remember, or if you've seen, and if you haven't, we'll play the clip right now. This is what I said in the October uh, sales disaster video regarding these November sales. And uh, I dropped the ball big time. I deserved what happened to me. Uh, but we learned from it, so it wasn't a total loss. And on top of it, my sales are so bad in October that, as I mentioned, I'll have a nice little spike in November. It'll make it look better for November. So Okay, so I have pretty much figured I would easily eclipse 370 in sales. Um, and no matter what I did above and beyond that, it would look pretty good, at least in terms of uh, percentage increase in sales, simply because that number was so low. And we, we did better that number. Uh, not quite as well. I, I thought I could get back to that $700 gross sales range. I put a lot more time into eBay, uh, a lot less time on the YouTube videos, and I've really been kind of really slow on those. So I do apologize. Um, and even the last video that I came out with wasn't informational at all. It was just a fun little parody video of, you know, kind of making fun of some of these. You don't see it as much on eBay, but these people, they're going to show you how to make money online and join their course. And There certainly are legitimate ones, uh, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of shady ones out there too. So I just kind of made a funny little parody video. So that's what I'm putting my time into, and that's not really helping the sales here. So... Without further ado, we went from uh, $370 gross sales October, and we finished the month of November with 492 So just shy of 500 That That sounds a little bit better. So according, I haven't done the math myself, but according to eBay, that was a 41% increase over the previous month. As always, then, we go right into what sold. And I'll try to do a little bit better job here of putting the, you know, little thumbnails and that up here in the corner. I skimped on that a little bit uh, in that previous video as well. 
So with November, and what I do is I keep a spreadsheet, and um, it has all of my inventory on it. And I guess now because I'm so small, I can do that. Eventually, if I grow to where I want to be, I probably will have to find a different way of doing this. But I have a spreadsheet. I have one tab as inventory, and then I have you know an August tab, September, October, etc. And anything that I sell, I fill out the rest of the the line item the way that I save it, and I move it to that month's sales. So looking at our November tab, uh, and these are pretty much in order of uh, the, the when I sold them. So we started off the month. Our first sale was $9.99. Awesome little green men. This was part of a wholesale ninja uh, general merchandise lot that I bought. Uh, the next thing I sold was a lot of Choose Your Own Adventure books. I was a big fan of these as a kid. Uh, it was $39.99. Uh, it was Choose Your Own Adventure 1 through 12. I was able to come across this set, um, you know, for a decent price. Unfortunately, it was like missing number six, which is why I probably it was a better price. So then I went out and I found number six for a reasonable price, put together the whole set, sold it for thirty nine ninety nine, um, and I actually accumulated those off of eBay. Uh, next thing we sold was Xbox 360 game, Kane and Lynch Dead Men. Uh, this was something I currently own, sold it for $9.99. Uh, another home item, uh, Sega Genesis. I had three Sonic the Hedgehog games, uh, $25.99. Sold a vintage Canon Canon A 35mm camera. This was from the 1960s. I was able to pick this up um, from Goodwill Auctions. And I picked it up. I, I've really been hit or miss with the Goodwill auctions, and I really am not doing them anymore. I think I probably missed a few more than I've hit. This actually was a good buy. I got this for twenty-one eighty-one all in, and was able to sell this for uh, one hundred and ten dollars uh, minus thirteen sixty-four priority shipping. So, you know, nice, nice net profit there on that one. Uh, next item, thirteen fifty. Uh, Nintendo Friday the 13th video game uh, from my personal collection. Also from my personal collection, a uh, Sega game, uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Sold that for $25.99. Uh, also a Nintendo game, Punch-Out. The original Punch-Out sold that for $15, something I, I owned as well. Uh, another uh, Goodwill pickup. I picked up two Star Wars books. They actually weren't even together. It was two separate Star Wars books. Uh, held those for a while. Um, actually wound up selling those for a little bit of a loss. I, all said and done, um, I took a dollar twenty-seven loss just to get some little bit of capital back in and to keep the ball rolling. Um, and I think I'll stay out of the book business. That was just a lesson learned. Uh, but wind up selling those for six ninety two. Uh, Xbox three sixty game again, something that I currently own. I have a lot of video games from back in the day. Sold that for fourteen ninety five. <clears throat> that was a Castle Wolfenstein or Wolfenstein, however you want to say it. Next one was a pretty good sale. It was a board game, Drinkopoly. Uh, I picked this up. It was in a previous video at a Goodwill. I uh, picked it up all in with tax and that six forty two. I wound up selling it for thirty dollars. Um, I sold a Wii game called Ten Pin Alley Two. Picked that up at a St. Vincent de Paul. I uh, wound up selling it for ten. That was brand new. Uh, next day. Uh, PS2 game, a GTA Vice City, um, sold that for $7.99, picked that up for $2 at a, it was part of a Goodwill auction, um, again, where I bought a, a lot of games, it would have been like 20 or 25 games, uh, so they all averaged out at $2.35, so not really the business you want to be into there, I mean, it's a sale, but very, very small profit. Next, we go back home. I sold a um, Xbox Guitar Hero 2 and 3 uh, coupled with a uh, DJ Hero. So three video games. Sold those for twenty-three eighty-nine. 
uh, another Xbox, and I've mentioned in my previous videos, I'm video game heavy, uh, and as you're seeing here, I mean the majority of these sales are, are video games. Um, if I had a video game source, I'd be in business. Uh, Xbox 360 game XCOM. It was sold, or sealed, brand new, got that from Goodwill, sold that for $15.89. Uh, sold a piece of jewelry, which has few and far between for me. This is from a Blue Lots lot that I purchased, excuse me, very early on. And you may have seen that video. It was one of the very first, I don't think it was the first video I made, but it was probably in the first three. Um, and this was a little pendant, a uh, little necklace with like a little crystal looking teddy bear. Um, looked like, you know, diamonds and pink gems. Obviously it's not diamonds, but anyway, I sold that for $24.99 which was a good sale because the the jewel the jewelry in the blue lots lot uh, averaged two dollars and thirty four cents a piece so a uh, nice little profit on that and obviously inexpensive to ship oh next sale was from wholesale ninjas again um, I got these slimy gloop make your own slime things um, not doing well with those at all. Wind up uh, packing, packaging those up. I sold those as a buy one get one free. Um, so for eleven nineteen, I wind up uh, selling two of those. Uh, another the, the remaining three items here of the month are Sega, her our home video games. I say home things that I already owned. First one Sega Genesis uh, Revenge of Shinobi sold that for thirteen fifty. Xbox 360, um, oh, actually, oh, I take that back. This was a duplicate, so there's only one more item. Let's delete that. I don't know how I did that. And the final item is a Tony Hawk Pro Skater for the Nintendo 64. Uh, sold that for $12.71. So those are the items that we sold in November. So, you know, a good bit better than we did in October, so I'm not complaining. Um, I think now, as we're in the beginning stages of December, um, and I am recording this on December 5th, I've already sold a few items, but I have a couple good items that I'm getting ready to list, and I think those will be high, high ticket items that should sell pretty e easily, especially this time of the year. Um, and uh, my wife and I, this past weekend um, went out to and generally she doesn't do this with me but she was nice enough to accompany me to uh, some new uh, thrifting locations and we uh, drove I mean no, no, pretty much to this point I have thrifted all within a five minute radius I've got a goodwill <laughs> the post office is literally 30 seconds down the street from me I've got goodwill that's 20 seconds down the street from me and then St. Vincent de Paul which might be like a five minute drive so I don't know why I mentioned the post office but the St. Vincent de Paul and the Goodwill that's just where I always go it's either online I'm looking for something or those two locations so we uh, branched out and went to a couple places that were you know about 20 30 minutes out and I uh, picked up some nice items have most of that listed at this time so that'll help me in December as well um, so a brief rundown here of um, just again of the video. So that was 19 items that I sold in November. Of the 19 items, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. <laughs> so 12 of the 19 items were video games. And I'm not complaining. I mean, I found some sort of a niche here that I can do really well in. However, overall, the margin that I'm making off of the video games you know besides a few that I got lucky with and obviously things I bought 20 years ago and I'm selling now the margins great but um, you know overall the margins aren't spectacular with video games at least not St. Vincent de Paul I can usually get them for two dollars and Goodwill uh, which my Goodwill is uh, pretty high priced the best you're going to do there is three dollars on the video game so you know take that three dollars I sell it for nine nine ninety nine and I do free shipping a lot so then you have shipping on top I mean you're making you know 
not much, especially this time of the year. Well, the post office rates went up. I mean, it's like killing me. So I'm making 2 $3 if I'm lucky on a video game sale. Um, so anyway, those are the November numbers. Um, oh, and I just looked down. I also had, I still had my piece of paper here that did have some information on it that I scratched down. Uh, first, please, if you've made it this far, consider uh, hitting that like button and also subscribing to the channel. Um, I'm trying to get better. I try to come out with videos, um, either recaps like this or something of some informational purpose that might be helpful to someone, especially new sellers. I'm not going to help anybody that's been in the game. Um, if you've been in the game five months or more, you, you know much more than I do. So, um, But yeah, liking and subscribing to the channel would at least make me feel better that, that I'm getting providing some benefit of this content um, and of course the bell icon I always mention that I don't know why you'd want to be notified when I instantly come out with videos but if you do hit the bell that would uh, that'd be very nice I'd appreciate it so other than that I think we can go ahead and call this video um, I do have a couple more here I'm gonna try to make and then uh, release them as time goes on so thank you so much for tuning in as always uh, please remember that to me whether I'm at my real job, dealing with anybody online, out thrifting or whatever, I think the best way to get through life is to treat others the way you want to be treated. It seems to work well for me. Thanks again for tuning into Amazing Abner. I'm Tom, and we'll see you next time.